Let's give these guys some some nuclear deterrence because why not? <laughs> oh, I love explosives. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG. And uh, in this episode, we're going to go um, get the final hard drives uh, that we know of, um, the ones that we can get, that is. Uh, so if we take a look at the map here, uh, I've got several marked that oddly all need 30 motors, which is really strange. But um, we can't get these two because they require quantum computers and superposition oscillators, and this one as well that one we are going to get to because that's a crystal oscillator we can do that uh, so we're gonna get those final hard drives just for the hell of it um and this is probably going to be my last curated episode let's play episode of update eight um i am planning on doing one final um tour the the world <laughs> uh, video like a lot of people have been doing man there are some absolutely incredible uh, videos coming out on people's satisfactory worlds. You know, some of them, you know, have been going on for like 4,000 hours or multiple years. And it just blows me away at, you know, what they've been able to accomplish. Um, and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, you know, and I, I, I think about my playthrough and I started, uh, I've been doing this for what, about four months now, I think. So I think, you know, for four months and considering the fact that I play other games and have you know, real real life and a job and all that too. I think we did pretty good. You know, for about a four month stint or or whatever whatever it actually ended up being, four or five months maybe. Um, um, and the fact that you know uh, the latter part of the game, anything really past steel, uh, was all new to me as well too. You know, so discovering all that was a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So let's go for, uh, out for one more one last adventure here. And we'll get the rest of those hard drives and just kind of see what alternate recipes we might get. Uh, again, we're just doing this for funsies, not, you know, we don't need to because we're pretty much done, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, and then we will take a look at how many tickets we have in total and maybe buy a couple of the statues, you know, just for funsies also. And uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to 1.0. I have been doing some some practicing for you know how I'm gonna start the 1.0 series um, I'm pretty sure I did hear back uh, from one or two of you in the comments about where to start you know uh, I had asked the question should I start in grass fields or dune desert um, and the response that I did get didn't really answer that question which is fine um, it was it was useful information so I, I think I'm gonna start in the dune desert I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. And uh, so I've been, you know, kind of doing some practice runs on how how I'm going to, you know, get started. I've researched only in the area that I'm going to be in. Um, can I stand up in this water? Yeah. Um, you know, what the, the node changes are and the place that I'm going to start in the dune desert um, is not going to be affected at all uh, by what I'm planning to do. Um, there's only one node in that uh, immediate vicinity that has been changed and it's actually been increased its purity has been increased so we're able to get through here I think we came into this area a long long time ago or did we yeah yeah we we came in here this is kind of a, a canyon Canyon area. Uh, let me look at the map here. So we want to go to that way. To this. Oh, right. We got to do a, a. We have one here too. We could run power from the radar tower down to to do that one. So we need to kind of go this way. Um. Can we get through here? Let's see. 
Oh wow, that's pretty deep water. That is some deep water. Probably should have gone a different way, but oh shit, spiders. <laughs> we'll just go through here until we can figure out a way out of here. Well, yeah, that's taking us right back the way we came. Well, maybe we should just go back the way we came and go around anyway. Yeah, I think we can get up through here. In fact, let's actually get all the way up here. What the hell? Oh, it's that guy. I was going to say, what's making all that noise? Get up in here into the... I think this is called the Dune Forest, something like that. Uh, I'm not picking that stuff up. Uh, Sam's going to be... If you guys have... You know, for anybody who maybe hasn't been watching all the coffee stain teaser videos... Um, Sam is, stands for Strange Alien Matter, and it's no longer called Sam Or, it's just called Sam. And we will be using it for, uh, actually using it in 1.0, along with the Summer Sloops, which will be used to generate power. And uh, the Mercer Spheres, which will be used to create, uh, what's it called, like a quant quantum storage or something to that effect and what that's going to do is where is this thing at right up there what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to essentially store stuff in the cloud and the the whole point uh, to it is So, so that we can, you know, we can load up a bunch of stuff in the quote-unquote cloud, and then we can go halfway across the map to do a new build, and we can pull stuff from the from the cloud like remotely, and not have to make a hundred trips back and forth, you know. To what's making that noise? Sound like, oh, it's you. Um, you know, back and forth to get get all of our stuff uh, when we're doing big builds. So, that's going to be a a really useful uh, thing in the game. Uh, okay, we got our oscillator. Let's grab this. So yeah, very much looking forward to, to the start. I think what I'm gonna do too is, oh, what the hell, man? Uh. get that started I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind all the way to at least to coal power before we even start thinking about building any kind of a factory and maybe even and probably even up to mark three uh, belts and mark two miners uh, we will we'll get mark two miners when we get advanced steel and then mark three logistics is it is its own milestone um, but what I have, and also to blueprints too, yeah, uh, for that, that's also the other thing. Because what I have in mind uh, for my first factory, in order for me to do it right the first time and not have to come back and upgrade stuff later, is I'm, I'm going to need Mark II Miners and Mark III Pelts. Um, so that that is the tentative plan, at least at this point, for what I think we're going to do um, before we even get started with our new factory. But the, the plus side to that is that we'll have um we'll have access you know to the blueprint for our very first factory build uh which will make that process so much better so i've been working on you know putting together some of the blueprints for for what my first build's going to be my first factory is going to be which of course will be our iron production um all right let's take a look at the map here uh, we can remove this now or 
I think I was... Let's just change this. What I'm going to... I think what I've been doing in the past was deleting those, which I shouldn't have done. What I'm going to do instead is change the icon to a check mark in 1.0 so, and leave it there. So that way we know, you know, we've gotten that hard drive. Okay, so we need to get up that way. Um, let's go up a little higher here and then I'll see if I can either jetpack up or build a small ramp to get up that direction. Now I think there's two of the green elite spiders guarding that too, if I remember right. It sounds like we got bees coming after us. Yeah, let's get up to here. Up, oh, save. Okay, let's get up to here first. And then... Could either... Well, by the time I'm done futzing around, ramping up there, and then taking the ramp back down, we could have just ran around this way, so let's just do this. If the train comes, we'll hitch a ride. Alright, let's head over this way. Take a look at the map here. Yeah, we got we went <laughs> a lot further east. We got to get to to that one, and yeah, that's the one we're going to because that one's going to. We can't do that one. We got to run power to it and fight the the green guys. Okay, let's, let's head on over. We'll just aim towards the radar tower because we got to run power. There is. A slug up here. A purple. Another purple slug over here. Not that we're going to do anything with them, but we'll grab them. There's our power connection. Um, Alright, we're going to have to do that. Let me actually look at the map here and make sure we're pointing the right direction. We want to go more that, about that way. Okay. Yeah, I see the, the drive down there. Let's put you there. Can we get you all the way? Oops. We might have to build a temporary ramp. Because it's not letting me get the pole all the way down there. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Now, maybe what we can just do is get these assholes to fall over the side of the cliff. See, there they are. Okay. See, they'll jump at me. And, oh, that one, that one didn't quite go over. There, he's over. Oh, he hit us, though. That's the easy way to take care of them. And there we go. It's a beautiful thing. All right, I think what we'll do to get back up is this. Oh shit, what happened? Oh, I think I hit the terrain. I believe that's what happened. Uh, can I get the pull? That 
that one's kind of far away. Well, you know what? I think we'll just leave it there. I'd pick it up if I... If we were going to continue, but... I don't think we will. That can stay the way it is. All right. Did we get the ma'am message? Hard drive message? And did I miss it? No. Still got a couple minutes. All right. All right. Let's take a look here. And we want to uh, change this one to finished. Next, we have to go way to the northwest. Well, I guess first of all, we're gonna we're just gonna go directly north and hit that one. Okay. Um, should I take my hyper tubes up there? Yeah, I think I will because that will get us. Uh, further north faster than I think I can do it on here. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to do it anyway. Our MAM research is done. So let's... Our hard drive research... Check that out. All right. Well, we're we are definitely not making that anymore. Um, rubber concrete. Interesting. Don't care about that. Let's take this one. I'm just going to take the best of the three options that we get. Not going to re-roll because, again, this is our last time doing this. Okay. Let's stop right here for a minute and open up the map. So we basically got to go due north way up there. Okay, so let's think about this for a minute. We might be able to... Oh, nope, it didn't work. Need to be on a downward slide to get the boost. Get up to here. All right. Um, we could potentially make it over there, except for that we're not going to have a, a downhill slide on this. I wonder if we could accomplish that from up on top of that thing. Assuming we can even make it up on top of this. There's a little shelf right there. I don't think I've ever been up on this one. Look at the map again. Yep, we're going over that way somewhere. We got this. Okay, I'm not seeing a drive. Let's go over to here. Okay, that works. <laughs> Let's get the map. Okay, the drive's this way. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Oh, all right. We're going to have to try and get a boost. There we go. Let's top off here. So we're probably going to have some nasties down here somewhere. Just little guys, huh? 
Wow. Okay, 30 motors. And we got it. Yeah, yes. Okay, now we gotta go way to the east. Got those, all of those there. So we wanna start heading basically that direction. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, get started in the dune in the dune desert. Um, I mentioned this to you guys before. I've I spent a little bit of time there on a multi uh, a short multiplayer series that we didn't get very far on uh, in update four, but that's it. You know, otherwise I hadn't done anything else there. So it's going to be kind of neat to actually start there and you know at least build our. Our, our iron production and maybe even our steel production there too because there's a lot there's a lot of coal in the area so we'll see how it goes but um, I'm planning in 1.0 I'm not necessarily at least not early on um, I'm not planning a a huge central city mega factory I'm, I'm gonna do more individual factories uh, you know, scattered across the map, but we're still going to have a central hub location, which I think is going to be in the red bamboo forest or, or over kind of where our uranium um, depot is. Yeah, we're right on track. Very cool in here, this area. There's so many more slugs on the map, too. We probably didn't even get half of them. Look at that. That's cool looking. Love it. Not spotting the drive yet. Oh, we're just about there. It's probably up there. Would be my guess. Oh, nice time for an auto save. charge on our our pack let's give these guys some some nuclear deterrence because why not <laughs> oh I love explosives all right here we go get away from the radiation that guy will cause us radiation too okay this one is done now we need to go north and kind of stay high along these cliffs here. So pretty up here. Mr. Bean! Oh, we missed him. <laughs> I was trying to bounce off of him. Right, 
Let's look at a map. This way. It'll be interesting too in 1 0 where, you know, I always pretty much just ignore Mercer Spheres and Summer Slips because they're. They're not useful for anything. Uh, but now we won't be ignoring them. We'll be grabbing them. Should should we give him some nuclear deterrence too? I think we should. He's already nuked up as it is. <laughs> oh, we gotta love it. Ma'am, research is complete. Take a look and see what we got. Alternate instant plutonium cell. Ew. Okay, so that would produce 10 per minute. Um, let's take it. Uh, oh, yeah, you're scanning. Okay. Okay, so in... Uh, so the normal recipe requires... Oh, right. Okay, so we're making... We're making these in an assembler where this would remove that entire step and we could make them directly in the accelerator. Oh, man, what a good recipe for nuclear power. Plus, you make twice as many, too. Okay, cool, man. Well, we're definitely going to want that recipe um, in 1.0 when we get into nuclear power. That's really good because it, it eliminates that whole entire assembler step. And again, makes twice as you know, twice as many per minute. Of course, it requires aluminum casing instead. But I mean, by the time, by the time you know we get to this point, we're going to be making aluminum casings anyway. So yeah, that looks really good. Cool, cool recipe, man. I hear a, a bad bat over there. I'm assuming all the alternate recipes will exist in 1.0. I know they're changing the way that we uh, obtain them. So basically what we can do, instead of re-rolling, we can store the recipe and choose it later or, uh, with other options along with it. So I, I, I don't remember exactly how that part's going to work, but I know they've changed it, and it sounds like it's going to be a good change. Any hoozle. Okay, we've got uh, two more to go, so we need to move this direction. Let's do it. Yep, I see the drive all the way over there. Sail across the canyon. All right, let's get ready with some more nuclear deterrence here. What if we can get them both at the same time? Where did he go? <laughs> where did he go? I don't even know where he went. Oh, that didn't kill him. Wow.
Oh shit! <laughs> wow. Okay. We must have got a, a lucky crit on that other one. Stop moving. There we go. By other one, I mean the very first one that we we hit one shotted, and then the first one over here that we blew up, he, he completely disappeared. I don't know, did he go flying into the air or? <laughs> I don't know. But then his buddy took like th three nukes to kill, or whatever it was, two nukes. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Get away from this radiation. All right, one more to go. Off that way. Let's do it. This one's down on the edge of the cliff by the void, I believe. I recall correctly. Yeah, right down there. Let's top off our health here. No badness? Some AI limiters down there. All right. This is the final hard drive that I have marked i'm sure there's more on the map that you know we we uh, that we haven't come across um and then the ones that are are marked right here of course we can't do because we don't have those parts but i think that that's it unless unless i come across another one at some point but even if i do this is our last episode so it doesn't really matter all right, cool. So, um, if you are curious, let me kind of show you what I have in mind for our 1-0 start. It's a long ways down. Actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to officially end the episode here for those of you who don't want spoilers for how I'm going to start on 1.0. And so if you don't want to know that, if you want to wait and see what I do, then don't watch from this point forward. For the rest of you, um, let me show you what the plan is. But yeah, let's officially end the episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Okay, so let's go over here. Ooh, incoming. So, my understanding is that this Caterium node here, which is a normal, is going to be upgraded to a pure. But in this uh, in this vicinity, so basically this area here, or wh what you could call the northeastern dune desert, um, that's the only node that I'm aware of that's that's going to change. Everything else that's already here will stay where it is and stay at its same purity level.
Um, okay, so uh, this will be our first Katerium node that we're going to tap into. Um, and this area down here in between, you know, this little kind of open area is where I'm going to start. Um, but I'm not going to build a factory over here. This is just going to be our starting spot. Um, it's relatively flat and it's near all of this, you know, lush oasis stuff for, uh, for biomass. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be very judicious, however, about what trees I cut down. Uh, because I want to preserve the beauty of this area as much as possible, so I'm so I'm going to mostly just going to be picking up underbrush, um, and there is going to there's a spot, a kind of a hidden corridor way back there that I'm planning on you know running some conveyor roads, and that area I will uh, once I get the chainsaw I will clear the trees out of there for biomass, just because it's you know it's not going to be something we're going to you know be part of the um, the scenery is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna. Uh, the plan is to start over here. Um, we have, if we go back this way, we have um, a normal copper, a normal limestone, and a normal iron. So there's the normal iron that we'll tap into. The normal copper is right here, and the normal limestone is right there. And then this is that little quarter area I was talking about. Um, it's, it travels over to the waterfalls, which is where I am going to build. I'm planning on building the first base. Um, so all through here, I'll clear all the trees because here again, you know, we're not going to be back here enjoying the scenery. And that should give me enough biomass along with the undergrowth that I'll pick to get me far enough along to, until I can get to coal power. And then, um, you know, there's also, there's, uh, there, that, the nice thing about the Dune Desert is there's so many resources. I mean, it's just all over the place. But, uh, you know, we got iron and copper over there and limestone. And there's more, um, uh, more stuff over here, too. We got two coal nodes over here. Uh, they're both normal. There's a normal iron right where my crosshair is. There's another copper back that way. And uh, some hard drives nearby that we can tap into. Uh, the two recipes that I hope that we can find right off the bat are uh, the cast screw recipe, which just uses iron ingots for screws, and the rotor copper rotor recipe cop that uses copper sheets, because it makes like three times as many rotors as the normal. Um, so we'll see how how that goes, but that'll be our. Uh, our first hard drive we'll go after and then way out there on that little rock outcropping there's another hard drive that we'll go after um, we have back around that area over there there's a pure sulfur node uh, and then right around this corner here there is a normal quartz node so that'll get us those things that for getting started mostly the only thing I'm really worried about or concerned about uh, in the very beginning is, um, you know, just for for research purposes. Particularly, there's the quartz right there. Uh, oops, I guess I got into fly mode there. Um, oh yeah, I guess there's two quartzes down here. Yeah, so that's a normal, and I believe that's a normal too. But anyway, we're gonna want those early on for the Blade Runners. Yeah, so two normal quartz is nice. And again, I don't I don't believe any of that stuff's gonna change. And then we have a water geyser here, which we won't really be able to do anything with in the early game. So yeah. Um Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to show. Well, actually, there's two more things I want to show you. If we go back over this way, there's a nice little spot with two um, impure coal nodes. But it's the perfect location for setting up a small coal power plant once we get, get to coal. There's that um, pure... 
Uh, sulfur node. Yeah, see, pure. So back over here, I'm like aggroing everything under the sun. Uh, no, actually, this isn't the way. This is the right area. Okay, I gotta go one one more canyon over. Okay, so back over here we have uh, two impure nodes. So both of those together will produce 60 coal per minute. And then we have a nice little water area down here. Um, so I'm what I'll uh, what I'll do is this will be able to support four uh, coal generators because each coal generator takes in 15 coal per minute. Um, and what we'll do is we'll set up a little platform right down there, um, and that will uh, be our first. Uh, permanent power that we'll have in the game once we get to that point. So, relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. I wonder if um, they're going to remove those uh, mind control, you know, sound bites because it kind of doesn't. I mean, in my estimation, anyways, it kind of doesn't make sense for them to keep them in there. Because if you guys didn't know this, you know, they've changed the their original intent for those things. They were supposed to be story-related, but then they decided, instead of making them story-related, just make them actually, you know, practically useful. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. So it'll be kind of kind of nice if they do remove those, because it does get old after a while. Uh, anyway, okay, so... My plan for, um, actually, you know what? Let's just let's just go into to fly mode. Uh, my plan is to build my first um, iron production factory here. Um, and and basically, it'll it'll we'll build it in front of the the waterfalls here, so we have the beautiful view of the waterfall. And it's going to be right about in this area here, and then over on this little shelf. Um, I'm going to right about in this area. We'll set up our first big coal power plant um, So we'll just build a platform out kind of along this cliff here, and then we'll use uh, the, This water here to put down our water extractors And then what I'll uh, what I'm intending to do is uh, Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool looking how that the lights reflecting off those rocks um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably build a, a a main artery road um, heading out to the coast, so going east from here. Um, and then more than likely, my tentative plan is to do our steel factory on the coast because there's lots of coal. Well, the coal's actually a little bit more that direction, but there's coal and, of course, water out there. So that's probably where we'll, we'll build our steel factory. And then beyond that, uh, like I said, my plan for our central hub is going to be up here in the Red Forest area, um, probably. Could maybe go Titan Forest, too. I don't know. I, I love the look of the Titan Forest, but I don't like the green fog muck that it has in it because it, you know, it just, I don't know. I just don't like it, <laughs> you know, so... Uh, so probably right around in here will be our central hub because of the fact, of course, that it is in the central part of the map or maybe even a little closer to this water here. This is the southern end of the northern forest, so we could even possibly do it there, but we'll see. That's all still, you know, kind of up for grabs as in terms of what, you know, I'll actually do. You know, it's just kind of what's in my mind at the moment for that stuff. Um, okay, so that's the plan. Everything, of course, is subject to change, but that's kind of what's in my head. Is there another drive over here? Uh, there, well, there is another drive. The question is, did I get it earlier or not? If I did, I didn't mark it. Let's take a look. Yes, I've already gotten that drive. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I am planning one more video uh, where I will do just one final tour um, of the of the map. Uh, uh, by the way, I think this Caterium node is actually being reduced from pure to either normal or impure. So the, 
They're increasing the one up north and reducing the one here. Uh, so why? I have no idea. <laughs> but I, my understanding, that's what they're going to do. So anyway, yeah, uh, I'll, I'm planning on doing one more, you know, farewell to update eight video tour of the world with some music, stuff like that. Uh, but I probably won't say anything uh, in that video. So this is my last update eight video uh, aside from that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the series I did, and I'm very much looking forward to 1.0, uh, which is coming up in a couple of days. I even took some uh, a day off of work um, to to get started on as soon as it comes out, which is supposed to be coming out 4 p.m. Central Time, I believe. And I, I'm on Mountain Time, so that means it'll be ready to go 3 p.m. Uh, for me. So that's what's coming up. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We already did the outro, so I'm just going to say... Farewell until 1.0.